Uh, welcome everybody um, to uh, Wow Wednesday and um, we're looking at uh, a product of the month today um, which is uh, the the Pharos Cane Light by Ambutech. I've actually got a, I've been quite clever actually on Zoom and I've got a, a wallpaper background um, on my, uh, on behind me which is a digital background and it's just got the, uh, the Cane Light Pharos and it says Ambutech, and it's got some pictures in the background of the cane light. So I thought I was being a bit clever there, and I've and I've put I've put that on my uh, on my background. So um, I've done all types of things to uh, to my um, a symbol cane, my long cane, um, to make it more visible um, to people, especially at night time, because I don't know about you guys, but I have found a lot that when I go out, the one thing that um, people fail to see in the in the car, in the, in the car. is, uh, is uh, my cane. Uh, so that's definitely one thing that has always been a, a difficulty for me. People standing on it, standing over it, bumping into me, and basically not understanding that obviously I've, because they've not seen the cane, they don't realise that I've got a, a visual impairment either. So I want to, uh, for a while, um, and we, we've, we've seen some new products come out in the last couple of years, uh, including um, including some canes that have built-in lights um, in in the in the interior of the cane. We've seen things like that. Pretty expensive as well. Pretty expensive products. So I thought to myself, Do you know what? I'll, I'll get I'll get a light. I'll get like a torch and I'll just strap it to my cane. Uh, I can change the batteries when I need to and. And um, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty fiddly to install, uh, and I had to use loads of gaffer tape and cable ties and all kinds of things. And it was good, but it didn't really. It didn't look great, if I'm honest. Um, so I was relieved when um, Ambutech uh, brought out the the cane light, the 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 Pharos cane light, um, and this is a, a an easy to use um, uh, attachable light that you can put on the um, onto your cane um, at any level that you need it to go. So if you need the light to be near the handle or you need it to be a little bit further down, uh, you can attach this very easily to, to any part of the cane that you need to. And the whole idea is that it lights your lights your cane up um, and kind of almost kind of creates a spotlight at the bottom of your cane. It is quite bright and I will show you what it looks like and describe to you what it looks like um, in a minute. Um, but I give, I'll just give you a little bit of information about it, and then I'm going to play a short video um, to give you a little bit more information. So it says uh, on the RNIB website, it says, um, light your way in the dark with the Pharos cane light from Ambutech. So this rechargeable cane light comes with three mounting brackets so that it can be fitted to any Ambutech mobility cane and produces around 40 lumens of bright white light to, to illuminate your path um, and let walkers see you more easily. Um, you can recharge the Pharos built-in battery by plugging it into a USB connector or into a charging plug or a USB port. And the runtime um, are approximately 45 minutes. Um, the cane light has an easy to use on off switch uh, it's water resistant and also comes with a handy uh, attachment for your key ring um, so it's a detachable cane light a usb connector built in the product color is silver and black um, and you the weight is 25 grams so it's not heavy at all um, it's a rechargeable um, lithium iron battery and again, it provides up to 45 minutes uh, of light on a full charge. The light output is LED. And again, it's 40 lumens. Uh, and uh, you can get it from the RNIB. The, the code for the RNIB is A for Alpha, M for Mother, 6001. And the price is 15.99, excluding VAT or £19.19, including VAT. And as I said, you can buy that directly from the RNIB from the website, um, or you can uh, you can give the RNIB a call uh, as well uh, on 03 
um, and they will be able to, um, to to sell you the the cane light as well. So that's a little bit of information um, about the light. Um, I've got a little video that uh, I'm going to play to that I'm going to play to you, uh, and hopefully this will give you a little bit more information about the device. And then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, a live kind of uh, unboxing as well. So here's the video. So this video is about two minutes long. It'll just give you a little bit of information um, about the light. Congratulations on your purchase of the new Ferros cane light from Ambutech, the 40 lumen cane light that fits a variety of Ambutech mobility canes. Please follow along with us to learn how to use your new Ferros. In the box are four parts. Across the top, the cane light itself, Along the bottom, three mounting brackets for all diameters of Ambutech mobility canes. From the left, the first bracket is for the 3 8 inch slim line or ID canes. The middle bracket is for regular half inch mobility canes. And the bracket on the right for 5 8 fiberglass canes. Please select the mounting bracket you need. Snap the mounting bracket onto the cane shaft in the desired location by laying the cane on a horizontal surface and pushing down on the bracket with the heel of your hand until you hear it snap into place. The middle of the light has a plastic two-prong clip with a foam cushion. Holding the ferros with the keychain end toward the cane grip and the foam cushion aligned with the open side of the mounting bracket, apply pressure clipping the cane light onto the mounting bracket. The Pharos has three functional parts, the back with the attached keychain and hidden USB connector, the middle which has the clamping device that fits into the mounting brackets, and the front or lighted end which acts as the on-off switch. To turn the Pharos on, with the front pointed away from you, rotate the front part of the light a quarter turn clockwise. To turn it off, rotate the front part a quarter turn counterclockwise. The cane light comes charged, but when needed, it can be recharged as follows. Remove the ferros from the mounting bracket by gently pinching the two prongs. The light will separate from the bracket. Remove the keychain end by rotating it a quarter turn counterclockwise, which will reveal the USB connector. Plug the ferros into any USB port. The charging time is approximately 45 minutes, but will vary depending on the charger being used. The Ferros will maintain full illumination for about 40 minutes. Please be sure to like this video, which will make it easier for others to find. Thank you. Um, there's a, a video there about the about the Ferros K light on uh, on YouTube. Um, and I'm just going to kind of like go through it a little bit as well. Um, so I, I, I was, I, do you know what? I was really excited about this product. A, because of the price of it. I just thought really good price, not too expensive. Um, and so I didn't just buy one. I bought two. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, why not buy two of these? Because actually, if you think about it, you only get 40 minutes, 40 minutes really uh, of, of charge. So um, the fact that these are interchangeable, the lights are interchangeable on your cane, means you could carry two round with you in your pocket, three round with you in your pocket, depending on how often you need one of these and, and how and how long you want to use it for. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do a little demonstration of how I, how you do this and how you use it, and then I've got a little uh, a little video of me using it as well um, at home. So this is the um, the box. Um, and it's only a small box. It fits in both of my hands. Now, as I say, if I open it up, do a little unboxing, uh, it does come with some uh, some small kind of Braille uh, instructions on, on here as well. Um, and if I, if I get those Braille instructions, just take those out. And you do get some large print instructions as well. Um, from the RNIB, you can speak to them about your requirements when you order the product. They can do audio, braille, or even large print. Um, in the box, 
you get, of course, the actual uh, light itself, which is the the the, the Pharos Kane light that I've got here. So you get that, um, and then you also get three attachable. I'll just bring it up to the camera. Three attachable clips, depending on the size of your cane. So if you've got an Ambutec cane, um, this is this is um, almost guaranteed to fit. You just need to make. You just need to uh, to figure out which clip is for yours uh, by, but obviously by attempting um, to put that on. Uh, and and mu I've got to say, it's a pretty, pretty um, stiff uh, clip on the cane. So uh, when you when you clip it on the cane, it's definitely, definitely, um, you know, it's not going to uh, it's not going to fall off essentially. So that's what you get in the box, um, and I'll I'll just put that back because, of course, that's my spare one, and I have another one which I prepared earlier, as I was saying before. So um, here um, I've got I've got a clip for my cane, and I've got the the Pharos cane light as well. So a little bit more detail about the light. So um, at one end of the light. Uh, we actually have the the light source, and if if we turn this slightly to the left, it will come on. It's quite bright, as you can probably see on the camera. I'll just turn it off. Uh, and at the other end, um, as I was saying on the video before, there's uh, a little key ring, and we can twist the other end off, and that will reveal the USB USB charging point. So that can go in uh, your smartphone plug, can go in your computer. If you've got, like me, if you've got a little um, power pack, like a battery power pack, I always carry one of these around with me um, when I go out. Um, I don't go out much at the moment, obviously, but when I do go out, carry one of these around. You could give this a bit of a boost, plug it into your power pack, and look at that. It's charging it up. So my power pack there, my USB power pack's charging that up. So it's gone blue. So it's good. At, that's another way of charging it on the go. If you've got a little power pack or any any type of product like that, that will charge up on the go, which I think is brilliant. Okay, so that I'm going to put the the lid back on here. Let me just get the lid back on. It's a nice nice fit on the lid. What I like about this is that it's got the built-in battery. You know, you haven't got to change the battery yourself. Um, you can um, just keep recharging it up. Now, the, the one that I fitted, my, that I did my own DIY job on my own cane, I have to keep changing the batteries on it, um, the gaffer tape would get in the way. I'm just thinking this is, this is much nicer, a much nicer solution to have. So now what I'm going to do is put it on my cane. So I've got my long cane. Let me just pick it up. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is is just kind of get it in front of the uh, camera for you all so that you can see it. Just bear with me, guys. This is uh, been rehearsing this earlier on, but you know, anyway, here is my my long cane. OK, um, and what I've got, I've got the clip here. So if I get if I just grab the clip, there it is. And what I, you can put this kind of anywhere along the cane that you want, but with this particular light, I would recommend putting it about an inch below your your grip handle of the cane. So I would uh, I would go for around around here. Now it is quite a firm clicking. It's quite a fair. You've got to push it to, to, to really get it on. So I'll do that. If it will, if it will let me. So you got to use two hands. There we go. I've clipped it in. You probably heard that noise. It's quite a, a really. What once you find the right one, if it goes on too easy, it's the wrong size. If it's quite difficult to put on and it feels really tight, that means it's the right size for the cane because it's not going to fall off. Okay. So we've done that, and then. And this is what I love about this. So you've got this clip now on the cane. So then it's just a case of you you get your light. There's a foam bit underneath the light, and there's two little clips either side. You just get it, and you find 
there's kind of on the clip it's quite pointy on 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 each side of the clip two points and a little opening where where you've clipped it on if you just put the light there and push it a little bit it clips in and there you go it's on your cane like magic really 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 um nice fit um it's not going to fall off it's it, it's clipped in and then all you do um when you when you want to use the light is you turn it you turn the light and it lights the the rest of the cane up for you and then you turn the end but a bit again a bit again turn it to the the other way to the right the left or the right don't ask me my left and right because i always get mixed up but either way that'll turn it on and off now this is the best bit i like about this is when you're finished with it and i'm going to put this into practice you're out and about and uh you, you know you, you, your cane light um has, has has gone dead or you do look i've got another one here there's my, there's my other one there it was in my pocket you just this one on the side of the of the of the light there are two little kind of uh, feet or a little kind of you can feel them and you just put a bit of pressure on them and pull and the light comes off get your other cane light the one that you've got charged up um, in advance stick that on and you're good to go again with a fresh with a fresh cane light you've not had to go and charge that one up to use it again so you can use as many of these as you want because they're interchangeable you can take that one off again it's uh, easier doing it with two hands I'll put the other one back on and basically it's a night it's just a nice firm firm grip um and it's not going to fall off once once you try and take the the little bracket off the cane it's really tough to get off you, you've got to do it with two hands or two fingers and really push it so this is not going to come off your cane very easily um then again some some people might have more of an experience using this than me but i found it to be pretty pretty sturdy and it looks like it's meant to be there uh, it doesn't look like my gaffer tape diy job that i did on my own cane <laughs> it looked awful um so i really i really 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 like this product now um i did um a very very brief short because of course you know videos and things on youtube make these products look really good what you want to see is actually what does it really really look like um, in the dark so uh last night um i went out i went i just did a short it was cold last night so i just went out did a short little video outside um to see what it would look like so i could show you guys as well so i've got a little video here that i'm just going to uh i'm just going to play and it's basically uh i'm in the middle of the screen there's a car behind me in the street i'm walking past our car to oh, the, to the front of my to the front of my house so i'll play the video and you'll see it working well, that's good that's just play good. It, play it again for you just in case anybody didn't know i'm just walking very slowly to the front of the house and there you go so it's very very right and you can definitely definitely see it um yeah. again it's it's more for other people to see that you're there and and that that you've got a cane and so they're able to to see you get out of the way hopefully they don't stand on your cane you know i can't tell you how many people have stood on my cane before i've got one friend who has had to get numerous new canes because people have broken his cane because they've just trampled on it and they've not seen him and um, so Hopefully this gives you know a little bit more confidence to to, to you um, when you when you're out and about in the dark that people will see this, um, and I quite like the fact as well with being low vision and having some sight, um, I can this this cane does help me personally. It helps me um, in the dark. Um, I can easily unclip it from the cane as well and use it as a torch. I don't think it's meant to be used in that way, but I can do that if I want to. Um, some people might find it a bit startling the bright light um you can't adjust the light source so that's probably one downfall of the product is that you can't really you can't lower the temperature of the light as 
you might you might like to um to make it a little less kind of um intrusive on your vision um so you might not like that the, the fact of that um but it kind of does what it says on the tin it lights your cane up um i quite like it i think for, for you know for 15.99 plus vat it's worth a go if it's not for you it's not the end of the world you've not spent a lot of money on something there have been other products out there which are costing hundreds and hundreds of pounds that have built-in lights but if someone stands on that expensive cane that you've that you've bought, you're not going to get a replacement for it. Uh, whereas this is more of a uh, an addition to your standard symbol cane or long cane, and it's gonna um, it's gonna turn it into a, um, a you know a, a, a bright cane at night for people to be able to see. And I think it's pretty cool to be able to do that. Some people might not like that. Uh, it might not be your thing, but the option is out there. And if you want to give it a go, um, then by all means, give it a go. So that's my little kind of uh, unboxing and demonstration of the, the Pharos cane light from Ambutech. Okay, so there you go. Um, I thought we did that quite snappy. So um, what does anybody got any comments or anybody, any, any observations or questions that they'd like to ask Andrew can I ask you yeah of course does it affect the weight of the cane or is it just no not at all that, so it's only available? yeah it's only 20 it's only 25 grams it's literally it's really really light um so you're not gonna um you're not gonna notice that on your cane weight wise um no not at all really really light um Whereas the one uh, the torch that I did have on McCain, it was it, it was it was it was a bit bigger, a bit more bulkier. Uh, this is just the right size. You know what I mean? It's not over. Oh, it's not oversized either. It's just the right type of size, really, for the, for your cane. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Got any more questions? Anybody? Anybody got any more questions? <laughs> Hi, I've got a question. Yeah, go for it. Um, I. Don't use an Ambutec cane. I use um, a Revolution Advantage cane. Okay. Um, because of the problem I've had with people standing on canes and destroying oh, them. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it? So, um, I I love the price point of this product because I think it's cheap enough for me to buy to experiment to see if it fits yeah. well yeah. Yeah. on the cane. So obviously, it's not designed for that but i just wondered whether you'd heard anyone using it on different brands of cane yeah, and... that's that's a good point um i'm i'm not i i haven't really i haven't no i've not heard of anybody like using it like mine's just an ambutech cane um so I, i've not that that could be a question that we you know that you you could put to the rnib because they they distribute the product in the uk so that one that could be something they you could ask them uh, i know ambutech say that it's it Dave obviously saying it's designed for their for their canes, but um, it, I I I I mean just on a on a kind of uh, on a, on a, on a punt really I I reckon it will be able to fit because uh, you get you, you do get three three different sizes um, of fitting, so there's probably a good chance that it that it will fit, but I couldn't get I wouldn't like to guarantee that, so it might be worth getting hold of one and and, and trying it. Or maybe asking the question um, in advance of buying one, maybe. But I'm sorry, I can't be a bit more uh, concrete than that. No worries, that's great. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Liz. That's great. Thanks for asking. Great, very, very good question. It was something that I was wondering as well. Yeah. Um, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Okay. Um, I was just wondering. Mine is a social services provided uh, guide cane. Yeah. And I wondered yeah. whether our tame Rovi would know whether they will fit it will fit on they might these, do yeah canes. yeah they might they, they they might well do so your, is yours a symbol cane uh no it's the guide cane it's, it's oh the next, you know, right the in between one i yeah i i i don't think you'd, you'd have a problem um to, to to be honest with it um again um if you've got the the brand of if you've got the brand of the cane then that that might help as well when, when you buy one of these. But I think I, I've got a feeling it's pretty universal when it comes to fitting it to a cane. 
um, because it's got the three, it's got the um, the three different sizes of um, of a ta- of of uh, of clamp, you know, for, for the cane. And I actually used, and I'm just double checking now. I think, yeah, I used the 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 the, the, the middle one, the the medium one. I didn't use the biggest. Um, so there is quite a bit of flexibility with them as well. Um, so I think, I think it's just to kind of give it a go. You can always send it back. You can always get get a refund as well if it's not right for you from, from the RNIB. So it's definitely worth giving a go. Yep. Um, so yeah, good question. Um, but yeah, do you know what? Just um, just a, a product that I thought we could look at and, and just highlight. Um, and, and you know, see what everybody's thoughts are. I mean, what's everybody's thoughts on lighting your cane up at, at night? What do people think of that? I know it's not for everybody, um, but do, do do you guys think it's a good thing to do? Do you think it's you know beneficial for you or beneficial for other people to see you? What would you what do you guys think? I think it's brilliant because when I come home, I could sort of cut down like a dark alley, and I'm often stood there in the pouring rain getting my phone camera. Um, torchlight out so it'll save all that I think it's fabulous yeah yeah brilliant yeah yeah that's a good point actually isn't it he's having to you get your phone out and then you know you, you both your hands are taken up then aren't they um mm. which is which is a bit of a pain so yeah so it, it, it definitely can light it can light a little bit of the pavement for you it kind of creates a spotlight um on the on the pavement so it, it, it could de- that that could definitely help um again um if i just get the video again you can probably on this video here um it, it does you know it lights up a little bit of the pavement so you may see steps and and, and obstacles and things that that uh, might be in your way as well um but i do primarily think that it's it's i just played that video back again there i do primarily think you know the whole thing here is is to light the cane up so that other people can can um can see you um because you know dark at night um the canes you know even if you put ref- re- reflective things on your cane for so people can see it better um this this really does show the cane um in all its glory uh, which you might not like you know some people might not be into that um, but at least it means other people are gonna take note of it and uh, and kind of know that um you've got a visual impairment the only thing well the only thing that i'm a bit disappointed about is that the, the torch that i fitted to my cane the diy job that i did it had a strobe effect on it you know like when you're in a nightclub so my cane was like flashing like in a nightclub and i thought that was really cool but, um, <laughs> but unfortunately there is no strobe effect um to the ambutech cane light but hey there you go i think it was probably a bit inappropriate to have a strobe light on my cane <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the other thing was as well i liked is that i could i could change the temperature of the light on on the on the torch that i had for me cane so i could there were two different light settings the brightest one and then a, a lower a lower light brightness um so i quite like that you know on the torch that i did so the other thing is yeah if this doesn't work for you um get yourself a thin kind of tactical torch just you know on amazon or or you know, uh, go to B and M or somewhere like that. Just you know, somewhere you can get a, a thin torch that you can kind of uh, strap to your cane with cable ties and gaffer tape, which is why I did to mine. But I much prefer this because I think it looks, I think it looks the part. It looks good. It doesn't look tacky with loads of gaffer tape and cable ties and things on it. So I much prefer this this um, solution. Uh, a little bit more expensive than the torch torches that I bought. Uh, but it's it's actually designed for the cane, which I think is much better. Andrew, key here. Did you mention is it waterproof? It is waterproof. Yeah. Oh well. It, no, it says it says. Let me just uh, let me just pull this up again because I did have it on. Just in here. case you want to go outside if it's raining or yeah, it, snowing. It's, I don't think it's kind of waterproof, but I think it's what we would call water resistant. Right. Uh, so it's just durable. Let's have a little look. Rechargeable. Wait. I did see something about it being water resistant. 
The cane is like ah yeah. The cane the cane light has an easy to use on off switch, is water resistant and also comes with a handy uh, attached keychain. Okay. So this yeah, I mean look, it's water resistant. It's not waterproof, so you can't go diving with it. Um <laughs> <laughs> but I think with it, with, you know, being in the rain, I think that's fine because it's water resistant. So I don't think you'd have an issue really with it getting wet. Uh, but if you were to submerge it in water, then I think you'd, there would be a, a diff, there would be a, you'd have a, an altogether different problem. Um, but yeah, water resistant. I, I you know I don't think you'll have any problems there. Anything, yeah. but uh, did basically, anybody else, did anybody ask about when you fold the cane up? Is does it get in the way at all? Oh, that's a good question. Now, um, I'll show you. So here's mine, my cane. I'll just bring it into view. So um, the, 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 it's attached here now. So all I'm going to do is I've took it, I've, I've attached uh -huh. the, the top handle, so the, the top grip handle. I've, 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 I've um, taken that away. And now I can start, I can just basically start folding it up. So start folding it up. Oh, I can't do this on camera. You ever had it where you try and put your cane away and it's stuck? And you've got okay. your, and your mate's there with you and you, you pull and I'll pull at the same time to get it <laughs> unstuck. It's the worst thing ever. It really hurts if you, if you really pull hard and it comes apart and you go flying. Right. So that's my cane now. It's all, it's all done up and it's there and you can still swap it. You can take it on and off whilst you've got it on the cane as well. So it's, um, That's yeah, it's pretty, it's um. pre pretty, pretty decent to be honest. And this is an Ambutet cane. So, you know, if you didn't have the right cane, then you, you would have maybe, you know, you'd have to get yourself an Ambutet. Well, that's, you know, that's not a big a, a, a big, a big problem to, to get one of those from the RNIB. And when you folded your cane up like this, it becomes like you you can hold your cane like that, and then you can switch the light on, and you can you can point it around like a torch as well. So, so so there you've got it. I've got it on now like a torch. I just bring it round. There you go. So I can point that around now and use it like a bit of a spotlight torch as well. So it, it's got more. It's got multiple. Or you know you can take it off, take the light off like that, and just use it as a as a handheld bit of a handheld spotlight torch there you go mm. multi-purpose so i think for the price of it it's really reasonable uh, and i'm glad someone designed something like this because it was definitely needed um yeah. definitely um rather than having to spend hundreds of pounds on on a cane that lights up you know which which you, which isn't going to last at least with this you can use this on as many different canes as you want as well um so yeah so there you go. So that, there you go. There it is. That's the uh, the, the Faros cane light from uh, from Ambutech. And thanks for you know for for everybody's questions. And um, I hope you've enjoyed that today.